What's going on everyone? Today we're at Preserve at Santan looking at a beautiful home from Toll Brothers. We're gonna to be checking out the model home and I wanna tell you about some of the quick move-ins and incentives they have going on here at this community. So we flip that camera around. We're gonna be taking a look at the Chapin model. Now this is a four bedroom, beautiful home, three baths, two car garage, single story home, just under 2,000 square feet. Now there are four different exteriors to choose from, sometimes referred to as elevations. Go ahead and make our way inside. Let that light adjust here. Now preserve at Santan, if you're not familiar, very, very close to the Santan Mountain. Uh, a lot of development and growth going on out here. So we'll make our way into the kitchen here momentarily. I really want you to see that and that backyard. They've, what they've done here is absolutely stunning. So as soon as you walk in, hook a right, and we have the first guest bedroom. Again, base price for the cheapest starts at right around 485. And there are tons of incentives being offered right now from finance to closing costs to money off. And I was just told, so it depends on when you watch this video, the next person that buys a dirt lot to be built on, they're given 20 K. But if you buy a home that is finished, also called a quick move in or spec home, uh, $30,000 off the total out the door price and they're giving 7,500 closing costs. So 30 K off plus the 7,500 really good deal. So that's uh, they want to move some of these homes and here in my hand, I have a whole list of what is available and when some are not quite available, but they will be here shortly. So if you want to copy that, let me know and I'll send that over to you. And excuse the music. So we have our first bathroom. I love that it's tiled all the way up instead of the surrounds that a lot of builders do. And we might see one here later from Toll Brothers as we work our, work our way through this property. But this one is not. Nice little legend there, a window. So Toll Brothers are kind of known for affordable luxuries. How a lot of Know, how they market themselves and I do have some homes that are you know in the two million plus range out here now, I've shown some of those on this channel out here in Fountain Hills Scottsdale uh, if that's your budget let me know because I definitely have videos showing those and I'm actually about to go out there again next week so here we have dining space office setup playroom wherever you want to use this for I love that there's plenty of lighting in here and remember this home is just under 2,000 square feet they also want to not overlook the tile floor that they've chose to use in this property. Looks really well throughout the property. And there's also some great uh, amenities out here in this neighborhood. Now here at Preserve at Santan, we're, so we're at the Papago Collection. There are three different collections from Santan, or from Toll Brothers here at Preserve. And if you watch this channel, uh, I'll be covering them all. So that way, depending on what you're looking for, is like must haves in a home, the price point, you should be able to find it. So that's gonna take you to the garage, but that is locked here in the model. But we do have storage here. So come in from the garage, drop your stuff right there, and on you go. Now the kitchen isn't, I wanna say it's small, but definitely not huge. And this is probably going to be, it's not the cheapest out here. So if you're looking to spend a little bit less, like I said, this starts at a base of 485. That's if you're starting new. So what does that mean? Well, that's the base price. And it's going to go up from there, depending on what options you have. Now there is one that's a little cheaper. That's the Cordova. And that starts at a base of 467. And that will be the cheapest out here at Papago. Like I said, the quick moving homes. Now I look right now here, there's a Chapin that uh, will be done soon. And that is 542. Then you can take another 20K or 30K off plus 7,500 closing costs. So that is a really good deal. And that's out the door pricing. You want to say out the door, but that's uh, not the base price. So here is your pantry. And nothing massive. But as you've, if you've paid attention to any of the real estate here, really anywhere in the country, your money doesn't get you what it used to. Now, I just uh, was doing a video talking about price points and it's crazy how much the average and median price have gone up over the last four years but when you have supply demand and then uh, that low interest rate it just drove pricing upwards 
And right now rates are still right around seven as I make this video, but that's why a lot of my clients are buying new builds because a lot of the builders are offering incentives like the 7,500 closing costs, you buy it on your rate with that, or there's offering low rates if you use their in-house lender. So if you are hesitant to buying because of a high rate, just let me know and I'll tell you different incentives I'm aware of that builders are offering. And that way, you know, you can still get the house you want with a payment that you can afford. So here's your living room. So we get back to the tour here. A little brick accent wall. And these all slide open to get you outside that beautiful pool area. And, and you know, it's 2,000 square feet, not small by any means, not massive, very you know, livable, very uh, easy to maintain, but not so tight and cramped. So we're gonna make our way over here to the other bedrooms. Next guest bedroom. So they have this set up for a baby. There will not be another one of those in my life. <laughs> my two girls keep me just busy enough. But if you want to see what it looks like in that regard. So a lot of times when I'm doing these tours, I always talk about the dresser litmus test. So if there's not a dresser in the bedroom, in the model, think of that room as being small. And I wouldn't say this room is small at all. It feels like a very typical standard bedroom size. But definitely not large. So let's go into this bedroom. And as you see, no dresser. Now you could easily put an upright dresser there. They probably just didn't want to take up that space. Make our way around, show you the closet from this view. And one thing to keep in mind when you're buying a new build, uh, if you want me to help you, I have to be notified before you contact the builder, before you make an appointment. But even if I'm not the agent you're working with, make sure you're getting a home inspection. Um, no matter what. I don't care if the builder's like, yeah, we've already had it inspected or we have a third party. Um, you need that documentation on your side. Uh, even, you know, resale, new, I don't care. Get the home inspection. That is your opportunity to check what is what it is you're buying and then have that documented so that way you can you know when there's something going on that you can have the builder correct it i try not to be in the mirror i did not accomplish that goal i do like the dark hardware they use here if you haven't noticed that on the hinges hardware the doors faucets they've done a really good job i'm going to show the i didn't really go over the the kitchen too much here but we have a dark cabinetry no soft clothes, a nice deep stainless sink. And one thing you'll see from a lot of builders is the seam when they put the sinks in or the islands. Uh, they did a really good job here. Looks like it's all one piece. I don't see any seams anywhere, but it's definitely something I see quite a bit with some builders and uh, some things buyers have issues with, which I don't blame them. All right, let's keep going we're going to check out the primary bedroom then we're going to go outside but make sure you're paying attention to the next few videos if you like this neighborhood because i'll be out here a little bit more just kind of uh seeing because things are changing with some of the incentives these builders are offering and i know they have quite a few homes out here so maybe that's what they're saying they'll give but i like to fight for my clients and ask for as much as we can so you know case by case so this is your primary bedroom, I mean, not massive, but there's plenty of space here. Plenty of space for a king size bed, some dressers. I love the windows. I like what they've done with the wall and then also these faux beams here in the ceiling. Now next year, there's gonna be an awesome community from Toll Brothers opening up at the base of the CNT Mountain. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I'm always out there hiking, taking my daughters, checking out, you know, you'll occasionally see rattlesnakes out there, uh, but it's really great to get out, hike, get outside, get some exercise in, but they're building right there at the base of the mountain. So that's gonna be great. It's supposed to be open already, but there was a delay. So next year it will be open. So that'll be awesome. I can't wait to get out there and show some content, show some home tours. So I love that this is tile from floor to ceiling. And I thought this slid, but it does not slide. Dual sinks. 
I know I mentioned Instagram before, but yeah, definitely make sure you're following me. One more look at that closet. Make sure you're following me over there. It's just my name, at Rich Brecklin. And uh, if I didn't cover, and not that it matters, I am a realtor with Real Broker. Great group of people over there. And it probably helps if I unlock this. There we go. And if you're not from Arizona, it is the 22nd of November at noon. It's 75 degrees. It's going to be 82 today. This weather is why people move to Arizona. It is by far better than anywhere I'd want to be right now. Uh, I'm originally from Illinois, so in Illinois right now it's a little chilly. So I'll, I'll happily take the 120 degree days to get to have winters like this. So here's what the backyard looks like. Now, when you buy a, a new home, you won't have this. Some builders, however, will let you put a pool in or do a, a hold back on the mortgage, uh, case by case. I'm not sure what the whole brother's stance is, but this is not, uh, this is gonna cost you a little bit. Um, however, the models do go for sale, and I don't believe this one's for sale yet. But it gives you an idea of the lot size. So some of these lots and new builds are tiny, like postage stamps. This one, Plenty of space here. Obviously, the pool takes up quite a bit of it. But just to give you an idea of the overall lot size. So, you know, let me know. What do you think of this home? If you have questions, if you want some more info on this home or anyone out here in Santan, let me know. If there's other homes you want to see, again, let me know. And make sure you watch that next tour.